Hi folks, welcome to Cloud Sprint. In last video, we have understood what IAM is, what is identity, roles, resources. We also did an extensive use case. As promised in this video, we are gonna do uh, remaining four use cases, which will help you to work on any real world use cases while you're working with Google Cloud and any uh, company. In use case two, you need to enable DevOps group to be add, automatically added as a viewer whenever any new project is created in organization as they need to monitor. So any project created anywhere, DevOps team need to be added as a viewer. That's the ask. For this, we need to add DevOps group over the organization layer. How? Let's go and check it out. To GCP console, we need to select the organization. Why? Because we want all further upcoming projects should also have access to DevOps engineers. First thing is that in the first use case, what we did, we gave permission on uh, data science to data science group and uh, DevOps to DevOps group. For this, I'm going to go to I organization. Let's copy the group of DevOps engineers. I copied it and uh, let's click on grant access. Resources cloud sprint out in identity is uh, your group road is viewer submit it once you add this identity attach this IAM policy uh, let's check that now if a devops engineers have access to data science projects as well or not because uh, earlier they, they had no access now we have added an org level which means that every project by default devops engineers will be added John Miller is from DevOps Engineer. Let's try to log in as John and see if John has permission to data science projects or not. Let's open the projects. Clearly, you can see now John can see DevOps and data science projects together. That's how you manage resources. That's how you manage identity and that's how you manage roles. Now I want to create one more project and showcase that uh, you know, upcoming projects will also have the same role applicable. I'll create the billing account, creating a project. Once you create a project, this is by default created under the organization. The name is test project. You can see it's out of the folder. It's not even in the folder. And now go back to John's dashboard and see if John can see the new project or not. Yes. John can see test project, which means the permission which we set at the org level is working for existing project plus upcoming projects. That's the benefit of doing at the org level. That is In use case three, we have to ask. First is to allow data science engineers owner access on the dev projects because we want to set them free under dev projects. But when it comes to production, we want to restrict the uses. Data scientist groups should only have read-only access in production project. Three roles. First is compute viewer. Second is storage viewer. Third is vertex AI viewer. All right, how we gonna do it? Let's see at the labs. I'll go to the data science folder and dev folder because I have to give the owner access of the development project. So if today I have one project, tomorrow I can have 10 projects. For that, I'll go to I am of that particular folder where I have to give the default permission and uh, I'll, you can see this permission viewer is already inherited from data science folder and dev is inside data science folder. Now I'm going to give a uh, owner role on dev project. Okay. Now any project inside the dev folder of data science has owner to data scientists and in production, they have just a viewer access. You can see production just viewer and uh, dev you have your owner first step was to do that and that's how very very simply you can have different permissions for different folders that's the benefit of creating a organization at the starting only matt is from data scientist team let's see if matt can access In Matt's console, you can see Matt is not able to do anything at prod, just a viewer. When he switches to dev, he can create or he can create a bucket, he can grant access because he's owner in the dev project. That's the difference we wanted to create with the first use case because 
your engineers are have more permissions in dev but less permissions in prod that that's how an enterprise uh, level use cases are generally second is to allow data scientist uh, data science uh, engineers to access only below services in production projects so we're going to give compute viewer storage viewer vertex ai viewer let's go to the console uh, for this i need to give it production so i'll go to the production project i'm already over there production project provided the id the three roles which i have to give is first is compute viewer oh, let me scroll yeah first second one is storage viewer select the storage viewer third is vertex ai viewer it's a ml ai solution from gcp managed one so i added all three permissions and viewer is already coming from the data science folder so top to bottom it inherited uh, itself that that's how you're going to give different permissions at different level now your data scientists can just see production projects in use case 4 we need to create a service account for jupyter notebook to be used by a vm when it will be created for data scientists we need to attach below roles to the service account first is compute instance admin second is cloud scheduler user let's hit the labs and see how we can do it i'll go ahead and uh, select the project um, let's create it in data science dev i'll go to service account create a service account the ask is to create it for jupyter notebooks i'll say right in any name of the service account this is your email address for the service account which you'll use for all accesses description is to be used create and continue i can also assign role over here or i can attach it later under im also let's give the roles over here only first is compute admin instance admin so it's very powerful role that you can control compute and second is cloud scheduler user so let's select cloud scheduler job runner yeah done let's continue that and hit on done that will create the jupyter notebook service account you can go to i am it's already attached because we submitted the form always note it is at the project level only and that is how you always create service accounts and assign a role and you can use this service account while creating your resources the last use case is number five which is to create a bucket and configure the access for authenticated and unauthenticated users which is basically making it public we also need to name our bucket as cloud sprint dash public dash bucket we have to assign a level we have to give a class as regional all right in the next video while we go through the storage options this example will be really helpful all right without a delay let's hit the labs and let's find out how to do it for this i'll come to gcp storage cloud storage buckets let's click on create a bucket over here i have to put the name this name has to be globally unique once you paste the name i'll go to label label is needed because this is needed when you are uh, checking the bill of your uh, overall structure overall uh, projects click on continue once you click on continue you will be offered to choose location it has three options multi region dual region regional in my case uh, i want to create a regional bucket i'll say that, okay fine regional go ahead with us east one click on continue it has storage class standard near line code line archival you can go ahead with standard for now i'm saying enforce public access uncheck it click on continue click on create that will create a bucket for me once you create and click click on create yeah yeah you can see you can upload file because i am the org admin so i have by default access and you can uh, upload files in inside the bucket if you go to permissions you can see it's not public yet because we have not given the access 
you can go to configure to check that when it was created what is the location what is the reason what is the storage class uh, if any label attached what is the url for gs util what is the url for cloud console that's all detail let's go ahead and give make it public for making it public you can select all users that's a flag and you can select that uh, cloud storage cloud Ob object viewer resource is a bucket i am is all users uh, i mean identity is all users you can see it is showing a warning you that this is public now you should not make it public that's the standard warning because if somebody have done it by mistake google warns you you can copy the url and uh, any, any anybody can open it now because it is public to internet now anything inside this let's go ahead and use my personal email address to check without any access if i can access this bucket or not yes you can see i am able to open this bucket download this file from my personal id i can download it and i can see it it's not something very very uh, common that but there are needs when you need to do it that's how you make things public i hope that was helpful today you know what it takes to work on im and how can you assign roles and permissions most secure manner all right if you like my content and following my gcp playlist my channel like the video if you have any questions write down in the comment thanks very much for watching bye bye